All right, guys. I just got my RDI system for stage from Bulk Rig Supply today. It's the BRS four stage value plus 75 gallons per GPD per day. It comes with the TDS meter and the pressure valve. And I got me, um, this is a 50 gallon bucket. The brute rollout they didn't have the round one, so I had to go with the trolley. It's fine, it's not gonna move. So I just want to get the system running. So I did the temporary um, solution. It comes with under the faucet uh, adapter. You put it on, hook it up. The valve controls if you want water coming down here. For example, when it's down, you could use the sink just like any other sink you would. Then when you turn it this way, that's when the water gets in the membrane and it does the fil filtration. I'm gonna turn it on, it's my first attempt. <laughs> so, turning it on right now, I'm gonna show you guys how, how it goes. I'm gonna get the water temperature right and then turn it on. Now let's see it work. There you go, the water is filling up the membranes. See the temperature, not the temperature, I mean the pressure. The drain is going in. Let me turn this on. There we go. Let's check the TDS. It says zero. Give it a second. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so I figured out the problem. The problem was this flow valve needs to be on this position for this reverse the DI system to start filling up. As you can see, it's filling up right now. It's filling up. And let's look at the TDS meter. We're looking at 0 0.09. The pressure gauge is at, I believe that's 40. It's at 40. I'm gonna wait for this uh, DI valve membrane to fill up and I'm still waiting let's check the out the out is at zero but it's still early just want to make sure it's running properly before I do anything with it so I'm gonna leave it at in see where we at it's doing its job letting it fill up as you can see Oh, and we have our first clear water. Can you see it? There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let me pause this video and put it back in my drum and let you know how it works work here, okay? First, oh, I gotta test the water. So, give me a second. Okay, and we're back. So, as you can see, 
the DI membrane is all full with water and it's running properly. Um, we're taking in about 0 0.06 um, and output is at zero as you can see and the pressure gauge it's sitting at 40. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm still new at this so bear with me. Now we're gonna do the test on how pure the water is. Now all three lines you can see right now that the in, the waste, and the out. Now I haven't put that in my gallon yet because I want to test the water before I put it in. So this is the Insta Test Analytic kit that comes with the system. Okay. Now what we're looking for is there we go. Free chlorine PPM. Can you see it? There we go. Let's clear that out. There you go. Free chlorine PPM and total chlorine PPM. The FCI and the TCI. They should be at zero. This is the instructions. Okay. Now I'm going to take a test kit out and test the water right now. They give you a decent amount of strips. Just going to take one out. Close the lid. Right, and I want to test on it. Now, this is what it looks like. You're supposed to put it in the water for two seconds. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, you know, I just wanna hold it properly. Okay. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Okay, and now we're going to hold it right next to this test kit and see what we have. Oh, the other way around. Hold on. It's a chance. Okay, so what do we have here? Can you see it? So this is where it is. It's pure white and zero. So, so far it's working. So what I'm gonna do is, I wanna be very safe about this um, RDI water. So I'm gonna put the tube inside my gallon here. I'm gonna let it get fill, fill up a little bit. And once it does, once it does, I'm gonna rinse it with the the clear of the pure water and rinse the water out and do the whole thing again. I just want to clear, I just want to clean this thing before I start putting the actual water in it so I can use it. And obviously this is not going to stay here. I'm going to probably install it right here on my wall. Now I have the, the BRS Forsage Value Plus. That does not come with the the T intersection that you're gonna have to put underneath your sink. I don't know if you can see it. You see that? You see there's gonna be a valve that goes over here. Hold on, let me turn this flash on for you. Okay, my flash is not working, but you get a pre pretty good idea. See, this is where it's gonna, the valve's gonna go. I'm gonna put that in later. Just want to get the system running so I have this temporary thing going on. And I'm going to install it right here. My drone's going to stay here. My aquarium is upstairs. So I'm going to have to work something out as to how I'm going to move the water from the basement to upstairs because I am, this is my basement. I have no, I have no room upstairs to fit this uh, giant machinery. So this will have to be here, not to mention the drum the 50 gallon drum. So this will be in my basement. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to move the water to upstairs whenever I have to do a water change on my tank. All right guys, thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated. I'll let you know if anything changes. Thank you, goodbye.